Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up Frets on Fire and to put custom songs on it for guitar and drums and bass, because I've got a lot of requests to do so. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this site and download uTorrent. I'll put all the links that you'll need for the websites in the description box on the right, just so you can download them. Once you've downloaded uTorrent, you can download the Frets on Fire mod from either here or here, but they're both in the description. And what you do is you just click download and then you click open um, within um, uTorrent and then it should just automatically queue up for download, just wait for it to finish and then you install it. Ok, the next thing you're going to want to do if you want to get custom songs to download is go onto this website fretsonfire.wiki.com for slash custom songs I'll post the link in the description but you must be registered on the forum to download songs, it's free so don't worry about anything but you just have to be registered Okay, and along here it has an A to Z of the different band names. Um, so if you want Metallica, you go to M. If you want Children of Bodom, you go to C or whatever. So today I'm going to download um, Muse Song Plugin Baby because I want to download it. So just scroll down to the song. Um, Plugin Baby. It'll have the difficulties on this column the band, song, and the charter. So if you click over on the right of the post you want, it should take you to the thread uh, on the forum which has has um, the songs on it. And then you just click Control and F, and then you just type in the song name, and it should go down to it. So you just click on the file, and it should take you to the page where you can download it. So just click on download, get rid of the advert, and you go to save file. So I'll just wait for this to download. Scan for viruses, and then you open this and to open this you've got to have WinRAR which is another program which unzips files so I'll post that in the description first you've got to download WinRAR before you do this and what you do is basically you have the file here and you've got to make sure you have the, f the file chart um, a um, .ogg file, a notes file, and a song.ini. Almost all of them on there will have that, but it's just worth checking. So what you do is you go back to that file, and then you click Extract To, and you go to a folder, I've got a new folder too on my desktop, where you know where it is, so you can easily find it. So you click OK, and it unzips it to that folder. It should do really quickly. Um, so you go to the desktop, you go to New Folder 2, wherever you've got it, right click, cut, and then you go to Start Computer, Local Disk, Program Files, Frets on Fire, Data, Songs, and then you just paste it in, and it might come up with a thing saying like this, like do you want to allow it to do it? Just paste it in. Close that down. And then if I open frets on fire. Yeah, I've got a different skin on at the moment. Yours probably won't look like this. I'll show you how to change it in a second. Um just go to where the song is. Plugin baby. Guitar expert. And there you go, you got it there. Okay, another thing I've been asked quite a lot is how do you get drum charts and where are they and everything. They will be on this website, the forum. Basically, if you want to get them, like if you're searching for a specific one, I would search the song and then drum, or the song and then drums, or drum chart, or whatever. But the post, the uh, thread that I found most useful is this one here, 
which has a list of loads of like full albums so you download it and it has loads of songs by that band like the full album and basically what it has here is it has a key so it has the different difficulties there and it has here hold on, it says G for guitar, D for drums and C for cop guitar and what you do it has the list of the bands here so if you scroll down um, it says here like the difficulties and then it says G, D or C whatever it has and if it has D on it it means it has drums so I'll just go down to one where it has drums okay look, Built from Valentine Hand of Blood it has guitar and drums G, D guitar and drums G, D guitar and drums G, G D G, D, C for the Cars album etc so you just go down to the one um, you're looking for um, and it should tell you whether it's got drum drums there. So that's basically where you can find drum charts. If you can't find your specific one, then I'd search it on here. Um, and if all else fails, then Google search it maybe, but I think this is the most reliable source to find drum charts. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a quick overview of the stuff you can actually do on Frets on Fire. Okay, so here the first thing you're probably going to notice is, like, what the hell? This isn't normal Frets on Fire. And what I've done is I've just changed this the theme, like the skin on the background, and this is easily changed just by going to Options, then MFH Mod, oh no, sorry, not MFH Mod, uh, Theme Settings, and then you can scroll through, you've got 8-bit, Guitar Hero 80s theme, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Guitar Hero 1, 2, 3, Mega Light, Old School FOF, Rock Band 1 and 2, and also another thing to point out is that if you're going to play on drums, I would recommend either Rock Band 1 or 2 because they're like when you have the star power notes for drums on most of the other themes it looks a bit dodgy and it's quite hard to see and when you activate star power it changes all the notes so to change it all you do is click enter and then you scroll down and click apply new settings and it should close down and then open up with the new theme on just wait for it to load yeah look, you've got Rock Band 2 here. Okay, so the other things you can do on here, um, MFH mod, um, there's the bot that I use, you just click yes on Enable Jürgen. The thing is with using the bot though is that sometimes you've got to get the right settings for it to 100% the song. It works online on MFH on time too, but just try each one of these settings to try and get it right. MFH on time 2 works for me. Um, people have also been asking me how do you get the wired guitar to work, for example the Explorer guitar if you have Guitar Hero 2 for the Xbox 360 and what you basically do is you go to the key settings with the guitar plugged in you click on that and then you click on each one and then you just like tap the button on the guitar if it's plugged in properly so if I click the green here it will say Joy number 1A and that's basically that's the um, green button and you do the same if you want to do it on the keyboard you can change the keyboard keys if anything's not working you can change the star power and everything and the same should work for drums if you plug them in so okay, um, if you have any other questions to do with this or you're struggling just send me a message or put, uh, post a comment and I'll try and fix it for you as soon as possible okay thanks for watching and good luck with this